The earth speaks to us through stones, each stone a silent messenger carrying tales of vast epochs of unimaginable pressures of the earth's fiery breath. These stories are locked within their crystalline structures waiting to be deciphered. Conodite and tetranatrolite, two such minerals whisper fascinating stories of volcanic landscapes and hydrothermal vents. Conodite, named after its discoverer, is a rare mineral found in volcanic environments. Imagine a landscape scarred by ancient eruptions where molten rock once flowed like rivers of fire. This is where you might find conodite, a testament to the Earth's fiery past. Tetranatrolite, on the other hand, prefers the depths. It forms in the hidden recesses of the Earth near hydrothermal vents where superheated water rich in minerals surges from the ocean floor. Conodite and tetranatrolite, though born from similar fiery origins, display distinct appearances. Conodite often appears as tiny dark crystals, their surfaces reflecting light like scattered jewels. Imagine holding a handful of these crystals, their weight surprising for their size. Tetranatrolite, in contrast, forms delicate, needle-like crystals, often clustered together like a frozen firework. Their colors range from white to a pale yellow, their fragility a stark contrast to the robustness of conodite. The conodite, composed of lead, copper and sulphur, speaks of a complex chemical dance deep within the earth. Its formation is a testament to the intricate interplay of heat, pressure and chemical reactions within volcanic environments. Tetranatrolite, on the other hand, is a hydrous silicate of sodium. Its formation driven by the interaction of superheated water with volcanic rocks. Its presence signals the existence of hydrothermal vents, those underwater chimneys where the earth exhales its heat and chemical bounty.